Real Talk with your boy Armin dropping another video. I just had to talk about this because I thought it was pretty hilarious, bro. Without wasting any time, let's hop into this video, bro. I'm going to talk about the Denver Nuggets, bro. I watched their parade. 2023 NBA champions. Congratulations to the Denver Nuggets, bro. But one thing that i do have to say during the whole uh series with the lakers a lot of denver players were butthurt denver's coach was butthurt talking about putting stuff in the pipe and smoking it dog and all this smoke away mikey i think you're a hell of a coach though talking all this smack while everyone still talks about lakers this that blah 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 blah, blah. and um Watching their parade, Vic Lombardi, an Emmy-winning uh, sports journalist. He works uh, uh, in Denver, bro. He's a sports journalist, I guess. This dude got up during the parade and talked all this shit about Mike Malone being Lakers daddy and blah, 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 blah. I couldn't stop laughing, bro. I couldn't stop laughing. Listen, Vic, enjoy your moment, bro. Enjoy it. Mike, enjoy your moment. You're a hell of a coach. I am not making this video to, to diss anybody. Enjoy your moment, man. You know, of course, everybody talks about Lakers. Of course. They have a huge fan base. They have 17 NBA championships, bro. You just got your first one. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. I mean, the NBA has been around... I wrote this down from June of 1946. 70 years, bro. Both the Lakers and Celtics have 17 championships each. Each one. You put them together, bro. You put those two together. That's 34 chips, bro. 34 chips between two teams. If you add one more to either one of those chips, half of the time the NBA has been around... Two teams have won every goddamn NBA finals, bro. Finals, bro. You're standing in your parade. Enjoy your moment, bro. But you or no one else over there is anybody's daddy, bro. <laughs> you or not anyone over there is anybody's daddy, bro. Especially Lakers, bro. Why everybody wants to talk about Lakers? Let's start with, um, they've had how many dynasties, bro? Showtime, Shaq and Kobe. After Shaq and Kobe, bro, um, Paul Gasol, Kobe, Lamar, and all these guys. I mean, bro, like, Magic Johnson. Um, let's go way back. Um, um, Will Chamberlain, bro. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. James Worthy. Kobe Bean Bryant, God rest his soul. Shaquille O'Neal, Paul Gasol, I mean, just to name a few. Do you understand the players that have played for this organization, bro? Do you understand the success that Lakers have had, bro, since the goddamn NBA started, bro? They have always found a way to win. Jerry West, the logo, bro. You're over here talking about everyone talks about the Lakers, duh. Everybody likes to see winners. Of course, everybody wants to talk about Lakers and hear about Lakers, bro. What has Denver done, bro? In 70 years, you guys just won your first championship, bro. Your first championship, and you're standing over here in the parade and saying, Lakers, daddy, put that in your pipe and smoke, bro. You are smoking some good shit, my friend. If you think, if you definitely think your team is anyone's daddy, bro, with your first championship, bro, you need to calm down, brother. Get yourself at least like seven, eight more before you start talking like that. And you probably won't even see that in your lifetime, bro. You probably will not see that in your lifetime, bro. So this is no, no, nothing against the Denver Nuggets, bro. They had a hell of a year, bro. Like I said, they got a bunch of ballers on their team. Jokic, Murray, ballers, bro. Mike Malone, hell of a coach, bro. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, bro. Put that in the pipe and smoke it and all. You guys are smoking some heavy-duty shit, bro. Thinking any, any of you guys are Lakers daddy, bro. <laughs> Ooh, man. Man, 
and I hope the Denver Nuggets are enjoying their moment. Vic, you probably had a little too much to drink, bro, before the, before you you know you got up there and said what you said. It was probably something else in that cigar you were puffing on, bro, because that was one of the most outrageous damn things that I've heard in quite some time, bro. That was some crazy shit, bro. But um, you know that that's my thoughts on it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if fucking uh, Vic is crazy, bro, for say, saying what he said. They might sound, you know, you, you, you sound a little petty, bro. You won and you sound a little petty that, you know, your Lakers fan base is always going to be, bro, Lakers are always going to be the Lakers, bro. Like the Celtics. Keep winning, bro. Um, people love winners. Keep winning. Get yourself seven or eight. Like I said, you probably won't see it in your lifetime. And then start talking about anyone maybe getting close to being someone's uncle. I don't know about daddy. 17 chips, bro. 17. 17, bro. Whatever you're putting in your pipe and smoking, you need to stop that, my brother. Because you sounding stupid as hell, bro. But shout out to the Nuggets. Shout out to all the Nuggets players. Shout out to Mike Malone, too. He's a hell of a coach, bro. I think that was one of the most craziest fucking things I've heard in quite some time, man. On that note, you already know it's your boy, Armin. I'm going to keep dropping these videos. Hope you guys are liking these videos. Hope you guys are rocking with the channel. If you are, man, give me a like, comment, sub. Until next time, we're going to keep grinding. And for now, I'm out of here.